Well, Ishmael said, are we making progress? I think so. Do you think we found the root of your revulsion toward the sort of life that was lived in pre-revolutionary times? Yes. Far and away the most futile admonition Christ ever offered was when he said, Have no care for tomorrow. Don't worry about whether you're going to have something to eat. Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, but God takes perfect care of them. Don't you think he'll do the same for you? In our culture, the overwhelming answer to that question is, Hell no! Even the most dedicated monastics saw to their sowing and reaping and gathering into barns. What about St. Francis? St. Francis relied on the bounty of farmers, not the bounty of God. Even the most fundamental of the fundamentalists plug their ears when Jesus starts talking about birds of the air and lilies of the field. They know damn well he's just yarning, just making pretty speeches. So, you think this is what's at the root of your revolution. You wanted, and still want, to have your lives in your own hands. Yes, absolutely. To me, living any other way is almost inconceivable. I can only think that hunter-gatherers live in a state of utter and unending anxiety over what tomorrow's going to bring. Yet, they don't. Any anthropologist will tell you that. They are far less anxiety-ridden than you are. They have no jobs to lose. No one can say to them, show me your money, or you don't get fed, don't get clothed, don't get sheltered. I believe you. Rationally speaking, I believe you. But I'm talking about my feelings, about my conditioning. My conditioning tells me, mother culture tells me, that living in the hands of the gods has got to be a never-ending nightmare of terror and anxiety. And this is what your revolution does for you. It puts you beyond the reach of that appalling nightmare. It puts you beyond the reach of the gods. Yes, that's it. So, we have a new pair of names for you. The takers are those who know good and evil. And the leavers are... The leavers are those who live in the hands of the gods.